Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you like the content, hit the subscribe button and leave a like down below. In today's video, we're checking out the Steam page of Arc 2. They finally put it up with a wish list and everything. All this uh, marketing and stuff, it's pretty cool. It's got uh, this thing going on where you can claim the game for free on Steam until 10 a.m. Pacific Time on June 19th. So if you have not played the game and you're curious about it, and you have a pretty decent PC, go download the game immediately, or claim it anyway, add it to your account. Even if you don't have a PC, you can claim it, and it'll keep it on your account permanently for when you do. Uh, go try it out. See if it's something you like. But be warned. Once it hooks you, <laughs> you're looking at a couple hundreds to a thousands of hours of play. It, it Once it finally clicks, it's it's one of the funnest games I've ever played, even with all the jank. And then everything's on sale, of course. Uh, they got the new trailer on here, and then they got a new description, which we'll check out in a second. A new map comes out today. I'm currently downloading it still. My internet is so bad; it's taking forever. And then they got some news on the animated series here. Character artwork reveal. So this is pretty cool. So let's just go through this. The animated series chronicles the story of the mysterious primeval land populated by dinosaurs and other extinct creatures where people from throughout humanity history have been res resurrected when 21st century Australian paleontologist Hel Helena Walker awakes on the ark after tragedy. She must learn to survive and find new allies or die again at the hands of the ruthless warlords all while trying to uncover the true nature of their strange new world. It says they now have 14 30-minute episodes in post-production. To celebrate this milestone, we have released the first poster images of key characters from the show available here. Sweet. So they got some characters. They got uh, Santiago, which is Vin Diesel. I'm not even going to attempt that name because I'll probably just butcher it. Played by Michelle Yaw. Uh, Helena Walker, Madeline Madden, uh, let's see, Kor the Prophet, played by Russell Crowe, Gaius the Merciless Nervia, Nerva, <laughs> I can't read, Gerald Butler, nice, David Tennant, Rock oh cool, Rockwell's in it, Sir Edmund Rockwell, I wonder if they'll show how he you know, mutates into that big monster. Henry Townsend, Jeffrey Wright, Henry Jacobs, some, I don't know who some of these people are. I'm sure if I saw pictures of them, I'd probably be like, oh, that person, okay. I'm horrible with names. So that's pretty cool. It's got some information here. It doesn't say... Let's see. J. Olivia, Batman The Dark Knight Returns, Justice League, Flashpoint Paradox, has taken on the role of executive producer... Star Wars The Bad Batch. The show features extraordinary voice cast. Draw the Butler 300. All his, his voice talents will be pretty cool in this. And then of course Russell Crowe and Vin Diesel. Hmm. It doesn't say release date. Or it doesn't even say where it's going either. It doesn't say Netflix or anything. Dropbox.com. Huh. Anyway, let's go look at the description here. Click on Arc 2. Alright. Okay. Here we go. About the game. Let's go through this and then we'll end the video. Suddenly awakened on a strange primal world filled with dinosaurs and humans struggling for dominance. You must piece together the history of how you arrived there. Team up with legendary heroes and confront powerful dark forces seeking to control the fate of all life. Saddle up and join the definitive next generation survival experience with Arc 2. Every aspect of Arc series or of the Arc series has been rethought and redesigned in the sequel. Here's a sampling of the new features that Arc 2 will contain. Upon its initial early access release. Epic Story, starring Vin Diesel, Riddick, <laughs> that's funny, 
as the legendary hero, arc hero Santiago experiences an epoch-spanning adventure as he seeks to protect his daughter Mika, voiced by I can't I'm, I'm not even going to attempt it, Moana, from the ghosts of the ancient past and visions of the new future. So starring Vin Diesel. So yes, you are going to play <sighs> as Vin Diesel. Of course he had to... Uh. Alright. Uh, revolutionary cross-platform modding. Ooh, that's cool. Fully stackable user-created mods for new creatures, items, gameplay features, and maps are now distributed across all platforms along with support for modded unofficial servers. Nice. Okay, best in class third person only gameplay. Third person only. Advanced character traversal mechanics like mantling, free climbing, parkour sliding. Oh, that's going to be awesome. All right, souls like oh, for crying out loud, enough with the souls crap. Souls like melee combat, target lock, blocks, dodges, combo, staggers, special attacks, emphasizing player skill based action. That's where that's one area where the first game really needed like an update because the combat was terrible in Ark. Think Minecraft. I mean that that's basically the combat. That's how bad it is. A massive new alien environment. Explore a mysterious, chaotic world where native flora and fauna are being overrun by invasive primeval creatures from an extinct Earth component based item crafting. Construct your weapons and tools from a range of distinct modules to customize their look and functionality. Millions of possible combinations enable you to craft your own unique gear. The specific materials you choose will further affect the appearance of your items, with multiple options of resources found in unique regions of the world. Dynamic World Events Natural and unnatural occurrences are always happening across the game world. Independent of your presence, your choices in deciding whether to interact with these events will yield rewards or challenges. Cool. Opposing PvE force. Hostile Arate hunt and attack you, riding their own tamed creatures as they seek to drive human interlopers from their world. Sweet. So you're... It's like they're alien stuff. That's cool. That was another thing lacking in Arc 1 was the fact that there was no, like, human element or, you know, intelligent life. It was all just, like, the wild, and you're by yourself. So that's going to be cool. I like that idea. Advanced template building and sharing. Thank God they're updating the building mechanics. <laughs> Instance rendering and network streaming enable much higher client and server performance for large player-built structures and a longer draw distance. Survivors can set up to save their own preferred building templates. Sweet! Share them and place perspective template layouts in the world, then build them out as a team. That's awesome. So if you've ever played Dragon Quest Builders 2, you could copy like a blueprint and then you could have your villagers build it for you, but, or you know, you could build it yourself. I'm, guess, I'm guessing there's no automated building, but it has the blueprint sitting there so that you know you can see how it needs to be built so you're not just building from scratch and like scratching your head like hmm how should I put it uh, sensory based creature AI no omnipresent radar animals now track and hunt by sight sound and smell hide from predators with visual camouflage and environmental obstructions and learn to mask your scent dynamic pathfinding enables creatures to intelligently maneuver around obstacles and player built structures nice character progression and skill system <coughs> Excuse me. gain both experience points from gameplay and knowledge points by accomplishing key objectives and overcoming unique challenges to progress along a massive skill tree filled with new active abilities perks and passive benefits wow they're really going all out with this thing the more I'm reading, the more I'm getting worried that it's going to be very broken on release. Uh, sea foliage react con convincingly to passing wildlife. Water flow downstream around obstacles. Volumetric storm clouds. 
localized weather system, smoke and particle effect. Wow, they're going all out with this awesome, you know, the visuals. Mature content description. Super violent creatures within fantasy. So, what we can take away from this is it sounds like the my only major complaint is what was my worst fear. So, epic story. Starring Vin Diesel. If this is what I think it is, you're playing as Vin Diesel in a single-player story mode. Basically the tutorial. And then all the online stuff is all this cool, fun stuff. So, I like to play offline in my own thing. Hopefully they'll include that also. And then have the story mode completely separate. Um, as long as it has PvE you know, maps, I think I'll be fine. And in fact, it'll probably be funner too, because it is pretty lonely. My only concern with that is, what if your map gets deleted and you spent thousands of hours building bases and stuff, so. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. But anyway, that pretty much covers all the information about the new arc. Thanks for checking out the, the video. What are your thoughts? Are you Does this make you super hyped? Or are, or are you concerned about a few things? I mean, there's a lot to unpack here. But I'm excited now. This, this, I'm glad they, they posted this, because now I'm more, more excited about it. I mean, holy crap, this se seems like a totally different, brand new style of game with just arc elements, and you know, as the, as the foundation. Anyway, I'll shut up. Go play the new map. Thanks for watching, and stay frosty.